All right, first off, a happy birthday to Mr. Tyler Perry, who turned uh, 52 as of today, September 13th. And this is a bit of an odd video to do. And you're probably like, well, Jeremy, you just said happy, happy birthday. How, how could that be odd? Well, for some reason, an old, I know this meme or this, um, you know, just discussion, it's kind of old because I remember it maybe about a year or so ago, but it's been online, you know, okay, if you had a choice to either have the options to pick $500,000 or a dinner with billionaire Jay-Z, which one would you take? And for some reason, there are people who say a dinner with Jay-Z. Now, personally, I would take the 500 k no questions asked. You know, the only question would be, you know, is this 500,000 tax free dollars or what? You know, I mean, regardless, I would still take the 500K. But somebody was like, hey, Jeremy, um, you of all people, you know, with the channel and everything you do, everything you do, if you had the chance, would you take $500,000 or have dinner with Tyler Perry? And I thought this would just be a fun video to do. Just a fun video to do. Uh, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section. You know, if you had a choice, would you pick dinner with Tyler Perry? Or would you take the $500,000? Now, in my, you know, imaginary situation, let's just say the $500,000 is tax-free. No strings attached. It's $500,000. Um, you know, you could have it how you want. Do you want cash? Uh, um, you know, cash app, deposit into your account, check what you're getting five hundred thousand dollars. Not a penny less, a penny less, not a penny more. I would take the five hundred thousand. Jeremy, really? You would take five hundred thousand dollars instead of Tyler Perry? You know, dinner. There are a lot of factors, and look, I know I'm an overthinker and whatnot, and also, side note, I think Jay-Z actually went online to kind of, quote-unquote, either end the debate or just simply tell his thoughts on the conversation. Uh, he just literally went online and was like, take the 500000 That's pretty much it. And I was reading a couple of articles about it, and pe and, you know, some articles like yahoo.com and just some fan blogs they were like um five hundred thousand dollars just take it because guess what that's five hundred thousand more dollars than you currently have regardless of how much money is in your bank account right now and not to mention there's no guarantee that jay-z will even like you let alone give you good life advice like that's not to say you couldn't have a dinner with Jay-Z and walk away more knowledgeable. I mean, I know some people who would take the dinner with Jay-Z in the hopes that it would mean a surprise meeting with Beyonce. I mean, how many people, and I'm not saying the guy doesn't have fans, don't get me wrong, but how many people would have a conversation with Jay-Z without asking about Beyonce? It's like, you know, if you had a conversation with Jay-Z, would you ask him questions about the Blueprint album or would you ask more questions about Beyonce? I'm, ju I'm just saying in general. Not to mention, even if you got solid advice, which I'm pretty sure you will walk away with, uh, you know, a few nuggets of wisdom and whatnot. Why would you take the dinner and there are countless interviews and, you know, um, whatnot Jay-Z has done on multiple platforms? And, you know, listen to the advice given there. That's not to say that you he pr he probably wouldn't have more lessons and whatnot that he could possibly teach you, well, tell you during that dinner conversation that he hasn't already said in other interviews. But for the most part, the quote-unquote blueprint has been laid out in 444. I mean, some of the albums in the tracks, or excuse me, some of the tracks on that album lay out, you know, different strategies from investing in land and property paintings and things like that but i think for me when i look at the tyler perry and jay-z situation i don't think i could turn away from five hundred thousand dollars now you probably wonder well jeremy i mean with your 
following in your uh, years of Tyler Perry commentary, who's to say a dinner with Tyler Perry and him either saying that he knows about your content or you bringing it up to him couldn't lead to a job opportunity that would in turn make that $500,000 nothing more than a couple of bucks in the long run you're absolutely right i mean there's one to two ways that can happen but just like that article said there's no guarantee jay-z will like you when you look at a person like me who kind of breaks things down is very kind of like analytical versus tyler perry and his writing style could it be that there will be some conflict there or would it be a situation where it's like well hey you know i hire uh different writers and producers on certain projects so what if i gave you this project to write for and you worked on that and if it's a hit you know we'll keep it going that's a possibility but when I think of the situation I'm in right now five hundred thousand dollars I would do three big things uh, first off get this damn house so I can <laughs> move out of my parents uh, place and the thing that um, it got to me over the weekend. Be and don't, no, if, look, don't worry. I'm not going on some spiel about not having a house. But uh, I think it was either Friday or over the weekend. My dad was plowing around, you know, the land and whatnot. And I went outside and noticed that he, like, uh, bush hogged, you know, like, cut the grass and whatnot in the area that the um, land is perked. And I'm like, wow, so this is where my house would be. It's all clean and everything, but I've got nothing to put there. So I would easily easily get the house first and remember this is five hundred thousand tax-free dollars i would get the house get all that settled and i'm not looking for no like three hundred thousand dollar house a house between like 60 to the lower 100k would be more than enough for me and um another thing i wouldn't give like a hundred thousand or anything but my mom and my dad, they're about to hit retirement age. My mom hits retirement age uh, next January, so in a few months. And my dad, he's um, like a year younger than her. So within the next, you know, like two years or less, they're both at, you know, 62. But neither one of them have that I want to just quit working mentality, you know, like they have the, I'm not just going to sit around. They want to, you know, keep doing, they, they're still capable of, you know, doing what they do. But if I'm not, look, I'm like, I just turned 30. So I'm like less than half retirement age. So basically I, based off what they said in some conversations, they can only make a certain amount of money if they hit, you know, when they hit retirement age. So they'll probably either work less hours or just get different jobs completely i'll make sure they're cool you know like you know hey is, is is this is this truck paid off or do you have any like outstanding bills that you're working to pay off like if this thing was paid off would that mean you wouldn't you know keep working or would you just do something that you hey i'll go work my mom's already joked around like you know heck i work at walmart as a greeter or you know stocking shelves or you know, uh, work at McDonald's a couple hours because they rate these minimum wage, so I will only work a couple days a week. I don't know, but I would make sure they're okay. And I don't know if I would completely pay off my student loan debt. I would probably make a decent dent in it. That way I would have money left over. So in my mind, that $500,000 would be used in ways to, you know, benefit myself and my family. But I think the thing about it is, is that the $500,000 is like a guarantee. Like I said before, if I ever met Tyler Perry in like that dinner setting, you know, first impressions matter. Um, what if we talk about what I've done blog wise, social media wise, YouTube wise, and you know, it could be one of those situations where perhaps one of my videos rubbed him the wrong way or, you know just something along those lines you just never know i guess you could say it's a hey i would take the surefire guarantee of five hundred thousand dollars versus a dinner with tyler perry that might go south you just never know it's like they say never meet your heroes and you know if you if if we met and it didn't work out quite right it would probably mean that damn i completely blew five hundred thousand dollars 
Not to mention, I am a picky eater. What if we have dinner and it's a meal that I do not like? Yes, I'm very picky. So, <laughs> trust and believe. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen in terms, maybe not necessarily dinner, but just meeting uh, uh, the man. Because, for example, with the sisters event that happened a few weeks ago, remember, I wasn't eligible because I wasn't fully vaccinated. And now I am. I got my second shot on my birthday last month. So I have my card. And every time I... Ha well, I haven't really took... I want to be honest here. I don't think I've actually like been out, you know, to like Walmart or any other stores. Good grief. Maybe once or twice in the past three weeks. I haven't really had to go on out. Look, I might not live in Lynchburg anymore, but I'm still accustomed to ordering stuff online versus going to the store. So, heck, I just had like three deliveries from Walmart.com today. So, there you go. But, um, I think that I'm still waiting on the opportunity for... Hey, another episode of Tyler Perry show is going to be about the cast of The Oval or the cast of Bruh or the cast of Ruthless. And if um, money is in a decent situation, then perhaps I can enter, see if I'm eligible. Oh, obviously, see if I'm eligible first. I mean, look, I'm vaccinated. That should, you know, hopefully cross off all the guidelines, but then have to pay my way to get there. But, um, yeah, I would definitely take the $500,000. It's as simple as that. Like I said, I could make some changes right here, right now in my life before the end of 2021, which would be a miracle if things worked out before the end of the year. But, um, yeah, that, that's where I'm at. Like the Tyler Perry meeting, I feel like if it's going to happen, it should be based on my work that I've already done. You know, like if I haven't gotten any kind of attention by now, then I don't know what will get it. Hence why I'm about to change the channel name and everything like that. But I think the 500000 without question, it's like deal or no deal. It's like, okay, you're down to the last two cases. You have an offer from the bank. Look, I miss that show so much. You could take the $500,000 and walk, Jeremy, or you can open up one case and it has a dollar in it. Or you can open up the other, and it's a trip to Tyler Perry Studios, all paid expenses. You get to meet with Tyler Perry. You even get to, like, write on one of the shows. And guess what? That show is the revival of the haves and the have-nots. You can be one of the head writers. <gasps> but you have to choose. Do you want to keep your case? <laughs> or do you want to switch it for the other one? See, it's just one of those situations where I would have to go for the guarantee. Like, for real. Because if I took the dinner and it didn't go well i'm going to be shooting myself in the foot because i lost five hundred thousand dollars but if i walked away from with five hundred thousand dollars and i missed out on an extravagant a, extra, extra extravagant deal at tyler perry studios oh yeah that would suck but guess what i would cry with five hundred thousand dollars in my bank account so Let's talk about it more in the comment section below. I should have put a poll up on the channel before doing this video, but this was just a fun one I wanted to throw together. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Would you take the $500,000? Or heck, would you meet with Tyler Perry? Who knows? Maybe show off some acting shops. I know some people out there who got headshots and self-tapes ready. How do I know? People keep sending me my da that damn stuff in my email. Seriously, stop doing that. Because they think I have pull at Tyler Perry Studios. Some people will probably roll up. I know you pay $65 now for, you know, your hair, uh, you know, stylist and whatnot, but uh, here's some, you know, headshots of the people I've been to there for. Y'all are too much. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Again, happy birthday to Mr. Tyler Perry. I hope 52 treats you well. Um, can't wait to see what other projects you have coming out of Tyler Perry Studios. And, you know, I hope 52 is full of health and prosperity to you and all your loved ones. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.